Welcome back. So it's amazing that we can now go and grab data from the actual REST API we built and it's available online. You can put in any REST API here. It doesn't have to be the one that we built in this uh, previous series. It can be any REST API you put in here. But we need to kind of take this REST API and grab these data now and kind of present them inside some kind of UI that we built, right? Because you don't have a normal customer who would sit down with Postman like this and say, okay, so now I'll do a post request and I'll put in some body and I'll do a send and Hopefully somehow, whoa, something happened. I don't get it, but cool, I got something there. And let's play, and kaboom, I got another set of customers. Now you want, the, the users want you to have some forms on a page that you can put in information, you do a click, you'll get some feedback. If you actually did save the customer, they want a real web app, right? So we need to build a web app. Now to do that, here's an example of web app. This is a just start bootstrap with a free template that we could start using. But maybe we need some graphs for showing something. Maybe we need some kind of uh, forms. Maybe we need some different charts down here that we want to show information. Maybe we just need some pages, a login page maybe, so we can start logging in later on, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So we need to figure out how should we actually, how should we present and work with our data? This is a great way to present our customers maybe in some kind of UI with paging and sorting and stuff like that. Maybe that's what we want. Um, there's a beautiful dashboard right here just showing a lot of things we can already do. And there's so many more features that you can actually provide inside a website. So we're going to have to figure out how we can actually show a website like this and start using a website like this. Now we are going to use Angular for this. Even though there are a lot of other tools out there to do this, there's uh, ASP.NET. Uh, uh, MVC solution in .NET Core if you want to do that, stay in the C-sharp work world. There is, if you want to do React, that's another solution. We could do Vue.js, we could do PHP, we could do uh, Angular, we could do, we could do, we could do. So there's so many languages to pick from and I'm going to pick Angular because I've just used Angular so much and I'm just getting more and more fun of it, to be honest. But there's a lot of other tools out there and none of them are wrong. This is just a choice you make, which one you want to use. And I've picked Angular. So let's try and have a look at Angular. This is Angular and this is on Angular.io and of course there's a getting started guide. We'll start using that and we'll start working with this. And I think Angular, the cool thing about Angular is it's, it's easy to use in my mind, but the bad mindset of it, the bad side of the coin is actually that it has a pretty steep learning curve especially when we start talking about uh, tools integrated into Angular or working with Angular called, for instance, RxJS and stuff like that. So there will be some pains in this, but just live with it. Just have fun with this, working with Angular. So this is going to be the way that we built an actual web page, right? This is where we're going to use and create a web page looking something like this. Maybe it'll be something like the table just to present the customers, maybe with a small delete button here, whatever we figure out. And then we're going to use the data and work with the data just like we're doing in Postman right now. So we'll be able to get information, post information, put information and delete information later on. That's how it's going to work. That's how this is going to be cobbled together, right? So we have a REST API on a back end. Now we're going to create a front end that can communicate with this REST API. Sweet, 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 amazing stuff. Now the cool thing with Angular is if you want to later on build a mobile app, you could go in and do something with Yannick because you already know how to develop Angular and Angular is actually also built to build mobile apps in Yannick. So that's another way to start building mobile apps using the exact same setup that you have in Angular. It'll just convert it into mobile apps using something called Cadover. Now, if you want to build a desktop application, there's something called Electron that you could go and have fun with. Electron is actually a way for us to use Angular code again to start building desktop applications. So there's a lot of choices here you can do. Do we want to build a web app? Yes, you do in my case. But we could also build mobile apps, we could build uh, desktop apps, but they will all still communicate with our beautiful REST API, the backend suite. So they don't care what kind of front end, the backend don't care about the front end. And to be honest, the front end don't really care about the backend. I just made a choice that I want to use my backend for this setup right here. If you don't have a backend, there's actually a way to uh, try and play around with the backend that already exists. I think it's called JSON placeholder right here. So this guy can actually provide a fake backend, pretty much just meaning that if you wanna go and play with this, I can actually go to Postman and call this specific URL right here. Let's just try and do that. Create a new one here, do a get request for this URL, and you'll actually get JSON back. So you, can, you don't even need a backend to do this. You can just work with this, the placeholder for now, and use that as your REST API, and then later you can go and actually create your own backend using my previous tutorials if you want to, or just do it in a completely different framework if that's what you would like. So 
That's it for the introduction. Next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try and figure out what IDE we want to use for developing our Angular application. So that's it for this time. See you next time. Have fun.